Hi guys, it's that time of year when we dig out the pretty coloured lights and try and figure out why they don't work properly. Now the old type of lights, you could pull the bulbs out one at a time and try and find the faulty ones. But with modern LEDs, it's not that simple. I'll just turn these on and you can see if you can recognise what's wrong with them. At first glance they look like they're fine, but actually you'll see there's a, a set of them, a set of colours, that are not working at all. Now whether it's just one wire that's not working, or whether it's just one particular colour that's not working. I was watching BigClive.com and he was explaining how these work, so I guess I could go away and watch his video, or I could just fiddle around with it, bearing in mind Let's have a look, Let's see what voltage these actually work on. Here's the power unit. Input 240 volts, 50 hertz. Output 24 volts. 3.6 VA. So, Three leads going away, three wires. And I think the idea is that well, I suppose I could check how many different coloured lights we've got, but I think what you've got is one set are on one pair of wires, and the other set is on a common wire and the other wire. And the circuit in there is pulsing at a high frequency. I'm just guessing here, positive and negative on that wire, and positive and negative on that wire, the opposite way. So if you had a sine wave or something, it's going up on that side and down on that side, roughly speaking. And your LEDs are set so one set goes one way and one set goes the other. That's all supposition, guesswork. But I think what we should be able to do is identify which set is not working. I'll plug this back in again. If we can find the very end, oh there we are, and work back from there, and try and find what's not working. Well I haven't found any that's not working yet. Here, we've actually got five wires. So we start off with three, and somehow or other, we change to five. How do we do that? No idea, but the ones that are not working are all at this end. So that wasn't what I was expecting. So that one's not working. That one. 
look suspiciously. Oh, it looks different, doesn't it? That one's not working. Are they on the same wire? I've got one wire going in, two wires coming out. That one's one wire going in, two wires coming out. That one is one wire in, one wire out. That one's one wire in, one wire out. That one's one wire in, one wire out. So those first two are the ones that are different. One in, two out. One in, two out. Follow that one back. So that's that one. Goes to that one. Does it step over one, or does it just go to the next one? It goes to the next one. It doesn't work. Goes to the next one. It doesn't work. Hope you're paying close attention. Go to the next one that doesn't work. Go to the next one that doesn't work. one that doesn't work, so they're all on the same lead. That one doesn't work. How far have we got to go before we get to one that works? That one. Gonna run out of time. Gonna have to speed up the video. One. Ah. And that one's got three wires. I bet the next one we come to has only got two on it. Well, that's the next one. Oh. That's the next one, and that's got three wires on it. So I bet that one lights on the reverse cycle. Might have to draw this out so I can understand what's going on. Well, lifting off that little cover didn't give us much. It's all sealed in there, resined in. I'm trying to draw myself a circuit out so I can follow what's going on. I think I've cracked it, but I'm going to try and prove it by connecting this loop so that I can actually trace the wires because they're not colour-coded, they're all green. I'm just going to feed this all the way along until I come to an LED and try and work out what's going on. Well that was completely by luck but that's come up with the dead LED so the right hand wire there is going to my dead LED. I'm now going to carry on until I get to the other end of the dead string. There's ten dead LEDs dead LEDs there and then I'll trace the wire back because at the other end we've got 
one wire comes in and two carries on again. Same as this, we've got one coming in, two carrying on. At the far end, we got one coming in and two carrying on, but one of the ones that carries on actually loops and comes straight back this direction. Right, we're up the other end of the dead run of LEDs. So say we've got that's the one coming in. And then we got two going away. One is carrying on, in fact, it goes straight to this. Go straight to this blue one. I'll just put that on there. So that's then going to blue. That's dead. I'm going to trace the one that goes back. see where that ends up. I suspect it might go to the middle one. Well, we're actually going to the left hand one. So that I guess the middle, but I got it wrong. So that's going back to there. So now we'll trace the middle one and see where that goes. Thinking about it, it's fairly obvious where it must go. <laughs> There's only three wires going that way, it can only go to one place, which is the first of the LEDs that's working. There we are, to the first of the LEDs that's working. I'll redraw this later. Let's come in to that one, and that has two wires going away from it. I think we can guarantee when we get to the other end of that one, it's going to swap across to the other end of that one. Well, that was interesting as so I was going along there. got a loose wire anyway. So I can fix that one. I expect it's probably something similar on the dead run. But I'll strip the that heat shrink off there, resolder that one, and carry on. I've stripped the plastic heat shrink off. It has this little separator goes between the two legs and I put a fresh bit of heat shrink over the two wires so I had to desolder that side first before I could put the heat shrink over it because my heat shrink isn't big enough to go over the LED. squeeze to get that on there, so I say mine isn't as big as theirs was. I'll have to do that off screen I think. No, mine's not big enough so what I'm going to have to do is take that separator out 
and I'll stick a bit of hot glue in the middle. Just while I'm waiting for that hot glue to warm up, there is a problem with using hot glue. It doesn't actually make a weatherproof seal. It does initially, but after a while it gives way and we will get water creeping in around it. So I could use two-pack resin instead, but I'll stick to hot glue for now. So that's just to hold the legs apart. Right, so we've repaired that leg, but we haven't fixed the other one yet. I'm going along these LEDs, the dead ones, and pulling the wires, and look, that's the faulty one. So I guess we got a loose contact there. So I'll strip that one back and resolder it. And we'll be back in business. Working set. There we are. That one is loose. So I'll do the same as the other one. Solder it back on. A bit of hot glue between it. Just keep the legs apart. And we'll be back in business. Right, I've already tinned the legs. I think this one's going to break off. That leg looks very... Lo yeah, that's going to break. Look at it. I wonder if I can replace it with one of these other LEDs that I've got. These are cheap ones. These are white, so we'll have one white one in the middle. We'll try it out. Right, this is the replacement LED, which is going to be a white one. They had a thinner bit of plastic. I don't know if that will fit. Yes. I can get my heat shrink over that. Gotta just check whether it works. Looks good to me. So we've got a new set of working lights. Well, not new, is it? Repaired set of working lights with one odd white one in them. Job done.